Good morning. Mirror Costa classmates Charlotte and Wyatt have come up with a product that is an alternative to styrofoam. They originally came up with this idea last year in their eighth grade science class, and then they decided to sign up for the National Invention Competition. Now they're finalists, and they have even bigger ambitions. Charlotte and Wyatt have been friends since second grade, but this is the first time they've invented a product together. We are both very passionate about the environment. We believe that climate change, plastic pollution, all this bad stuff, it's real and it's a problem that needs to be addressed right now. We decided, hey, styrofoam, that's a problem. We should solve it. It took them about one week to come up with the idea, about four months to complete the project. Now they have Terrius to show for it. It means earthly from the earth. We wanted something that's eco-friendly and it's good for the planet. At its core, it's a 100% biodegradable replacement for styrofoam used in shipping. Styrofoam can be molded to fit various products. That's what our product can do. We can mold it to make peanuts or just mold it to, say, ship a TV. It's very squishy, so it's actually moldable to any product as we can dry it to fit any product. And obviously, the bounce and the squishiness allows for it to be packaged best. Our product is the only one on the market that, or it's not on the market yet, but <laughs> it's the only one that is completely 100% biodegradable, eco-friendly, and has all the benefits. Right now, they're working out of Wyatt's kitchen. What's in here? Uh, trade secrets, sorry. <laughs> I'm a magician never reveals the secrets, but How I many can, of these can you produce? We can oh, produce sorry. as many as we want. We just need to get the ingredients. Right. So far, they've won a licensing award and secured a patent. At the uh, national level for competition for the invention convention uh, competition, we actually won a licensing award, so we're working with our licensing team. We've been working with them for around a couple months now. Yeah. And we're hoping to license our product to other companies as well. And also working on producing a Terrius uh, 2.0, as we like to call it. We're busy researching and brainstorming different ideas for where we want it to go, but we know it's going to be most likely in either a replacement for styrofoam in other fields or uh, a replacement for other types of shipping materials. Right. What have you learned about yourselves through this process or by working together? Me personally, I've learned that uh, with hard work, and it's determination. I can overcome pretty much any roadblock in my way. I learned for myself that when working with teammates in a large competition, it's actually really important to have communication throughout the whole process so you can be on the same page. At 14, they are very focused and seem to know exactly what they want, crediting their parents for supporting and encouraging them. Um, our parents are actually some of our biggest cheerleaders in my yeah, mind. definitely. When we have a really interesting solution, they never fail to support us through the whole way, even if they may think it might not work. <laughs> my dad's motto is, you can always do what you set your mind to. My advice to aspiring inventors out there would be, like I said before, just do it. Um, this applies to a ton of things in life. You're going to encounter roadblocks along the way. You're going to have bad ideas. Bad things are going to happen. You just got to keep going. You just got to do it. Okay, here's what you can do. You can support them and you can see a list of other finalists in the Why Didn't I Think of That competition. Go to our website, foxla.com, and there is a link and get connected there. Vote, support. They're pretty smart, huh? I saw your face in that in that, in that that uh, piece, and you were, like, looking Confused. at them like, I don't, like, I I don't no know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, I don't. They're, they're just incredible.